At this point in the offseason, it is anyone's guess as to where the Indianapolis Colts will go in acquiring their new quarterback. Even the front office themselves are still going through the options. One name that will likely be linked in potential trade talks with the Colts will be the New York Jets and quarterback Sam Darnold. Though the new regime in East Rutherford says they have faith in Darnold, that won't stop them from shipping him off. Pro Football Focus made the prediction that Darnold will wind up wearing the horseshoe after a trade this offseason. Sam Darnold will be sent packing. Indianapolis sounds like the most likely place to try to revive the 2018 number 3 overall pick, which was ironically the Colts' pick to begin with. Darnold has flashed a troubling combination of inconsistency, inaccuracy and poor decision-making throughout his NFL career. Since entering the league, he ranks second to last in passing grade, last in big-time throw rate, third to last in turnover-worthy play rate and third to last in accurate pass rate on throws beyond the line of scrimmage. Given what we know about Darnold, a breakout in year four or beyond would be an even bigger anomaly than what we witnessed with Josh Allen this past season. Not exactly a ringing endorsement from PFF there. Sam Darnold would get the ultimate offensive head coach, a friend to quarterbacks, in his corner. Frank Reich is the man who really deserves the credit for the Philadelphia Eagles Super Bowl championship in the 2017 NFL season. Doug Peterson certainly made a lot of good and important decisions to make that title possible, but the core source of the Eagles' success, with the benefit of three years of hindsight, was Reich. He developed Carson Wentz. He coached Nick Foles and had him ready for the NFC Championship game and Super Bowl 52 against the Patriots. Reich is a brilliant play caller with a considerable grasp of how to outfox NFL defenses. This is the head coach Darnold clearly needs. There is an additional benefit for Darnold to gain if he goes to Indianapolis, not only would Reich be his coach, but Darnold would have quality playmakers surrounding him, T.Y. Hilton, Zach Pascal, Paris Campbell, Jonathan Taylor and, last but certainly not least, USC's Michael Pittman, who improved throughout the 2020 season after some early struggles and an injury setback. Darnold is an enigma. He's still young enough to be salvaged and he has flashes of brilliance, but taking on this project would be risky for the Colts. The damage from Adam Gase may already be done to the point of no return for the USC product. Acquiring Darnold likely wouldn't be that expensive. It's hard to believe it would cost the Colts a first-round pick nor should they be willing to part ways with it for a project. It's hard to say whether Darnold's best years are ahead of him, which is saying something, simply because of the damage that was done by the previous Jets regime. Denver, Washington and New England would all be upgrades for Sam Darnold and his NFL career career, but Indianapolis would be the dream come true for USC's star, who needs the right situation in order for his pro football journey to truly take off. The Jets have grounded him. Darnold needs to fly out of New York, and hopefully into the arms of the Colts.